Cecil Walker of Parsons has a disability, but he's far from disabled. Growing up hunting and fishing in Kansas, he was especially attuned to the challenges faced by some Kansans in pursuing outdoor interests. So when he took a nine-month advocacy class nearly a decade ago that required a community project for graduation, he researched and developed Kansas' first chapter of Fishing Has No Boundaries. This national program, started in Wisconsin, now has 22 chapters in 18 states. And thanks in large part to Walker's efforts, it just keeps growing in Kansas. And uh, this is our ninth year. Our first year we had 14 participants, and this year we have 110. Oh, yeah, this is totally all volunteer organizations, <laughs> and a lot of businesses in the community make donations, the cash money to make it happen. And... This year's two-day event had 80 on-site volunteers in 17 boats, a remarkable coordination of help. Barbara Marlney of Leon, this year's Fishing Has No Boundaries Wheatland Chapter President, said planning for the event is a year-long effort. This is our yearly fishing event we hold at the Eldorado Lake Blue Stem Area Goose Cove. Um, this is a weekend of fishing for people with any disability of any age. Um, we get all of the boats that you see out here taking people out to fish are volunteers. Um, the whole event is funded by donations, um, whether it be money, in-kind uh, donations. The participants, there's no charge to the participants except the $20 fee that helps cover um, the national organization. But if someone can't pay those fees, we don't turn anybody around. We have our way. Uh, we, when I started, I wanted to do it for free, but we, for every participant, we have to send 20 to national. And then they turn around and buy adaptive fishing equipment with it. Electric reels for people that don't have mobility with their hands. We have electric reels that have battery packs where they could, all they do is hit a button and it reels the fish in for them. And they furnish all the life jackets. They, you know, they buy stuff like that for all the chapters around the United States. While not directly involved, Kansas Wildlife and Parks supports this worthy effort in every way it can. And we really appreciate the uh, Parks and Wildlife. Uh, they also built us an accessible dock. They reserved this cove for us, which works really nice with the wheelchairs and, and people with mobility issues. Um, and we, we just really appreciate their help. They bring firewood, they bring um, accessible picnic tables, extra trash carts, um, thing, things like that. So we, we couldn't do it without, without their help. The weekend is full of good eating, camping, fishing, and prize giveaways. A great time for many Kansans who might otherwise never get the chance to enjoy the outdoors and fishing in this way. You know, it's a lot of hard work, but it's worth that smile when you see them come off that boat dive, off their boats. And without the, with Barbara and Doris Hammond, you, you know, their help and their dedication, you know, they're the ones that really made my dream come true to make this happen. Fishing Has No Boundaries is a great model of how Kansans help each other to enjoy our state. And people like Cecil Walker make an important difference in many lives as they dream and do big things. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.